situation in the city. Hamburg has a stronghold of the Social Democrats. Uh, the Social Democrats are associated with the color red, while the Christian Democrats, the Conservative Party here in Germany, are associated with the color black. Since the end of the Second World War, just then we have 14 mayors. And just three of them um, were members of the Christian Democrats. All the others were Social Democrats. That's why Hamburg, also from a political point of view, is named the Red City. This area here in front of us, the eastern part of Hagen City, still is a huge construction site. Yeah, so, and young lady, where are you from? Also from the Philippines. And and it's also for you the first time here in Hamburg, or have you been here before? <laughs> Company. Its best on publication is the Spiegel News Magazine. There's something about 800,000 copies each week, the news magazine, with the highest circulation in our country. Directly in front of us, the domicile of Spiegel Publishing Company. It is not the only publishing company in our city. Hamburg is a media center. The media economy is a very important employer here in Hamburg. Something about 70,000 people in our city are working for this media economy. Something about 100,000 people in our city are working for the tourism economy. The two brick built halls, right hand of us, named Deichtoheim, are a center for contemporary art and photography. Moreover, they are the southern starting point of the Sober Kunstmeile, a passage of about a kilometer with several museums and other cultural facilities. If you look to the left right now, you can see in a few seconds the point in front part of the Sober Schiele House with the green balustrades. You can see it now in your left hand. It is considered to be the most beautiful office building in Hamburg. Left hand, we have the so-called Contour Hospital. It is a quarter which consists only of office buildings. This is for the first pure office building quarter in all of Europe, erected in the 1920s and 1930s. At the end of the street that branches off to the left, around 800 meters away from here, it doesn't exist anymore because it had been destroyed already in the year 845 by the evil Vikings. The evil, evil Vikings destroyed our Hammerburg. We don't like the Vikings. If there are any Vikings here in front of all of us, now you have the opportunity to apologize. <laughs> oh, there's a Viking here. Left hand, Magdeburg Street, the largest and most popular shopping street in our city. It is a connection road between our town hall and our main train station, which you can see now right hand of us. This here right hand is our main train station. With around 500,000 visitors and travelers each day, Hamburg Central Station is the mostly frequented central station in our country. Hamburg has two city districts which are named after saints, St. George and St. Pauli, 
and just in these two city districts, our red light districts are located. Our saints here never got hypocrites. So it is, if you compare it with other skyscrapers in the world, it is not really high, but we do not like um, high rise buildings very much in our city since um, our silhouette shall be dominated by the steeples of all five main churches and not by skyscrapers. Hamburg is a horizontal city. We do not like skyscrapers. We only have 12 high rise buildings in our, in our city which are higher than 80 meters. So, what you have here? The building with a red flag on its top right hand in front of us is a very famous hotel in Hamburg, the Hotel Atlantic. It is the favorite home of the VIPs and it is the permanent residence of the famous German rock star Udo Lindenberg, who lives in one of the hotel suites since more than 25 years. Have you ever heard of Udo Lindenberg? Yeah. Yes, some of you yes, some others no. Well, he is so to say the German Mick Jagger. Yeah, Udo Lindenberg. Water again here directly in front of us. This is not the Elbe River. This is the Eister. Lake, the outer Alster Lake. Actually, also the Alster is not a real lake but a river. That it appears to be a lake in the center of Hamburg has its reason in the fact that in ancient days people dammed up the Alster River to work a mill, what caused an unintentional flooding of the river banks. It's a beautiful water sports area. The city districts, which are situated around this outer Alster Lake, are some of the most expensive residential areas of our city. It's beautiful villas. Some of them, I want to show you a little bit later. But now you have to look to the left. If you look to the left now, you can enjoy the gorgeous panorama of our city center, including the Alza Lake and the steeples of our five main churches. All of our five main churches are Protestant churches. The Protestants are the largest religious group here in Hamburg. 28% of all Hamburg citizens are Protestants. Another 10 to 11 percent are Catholics. Moreover, we have a large Muslim community in Hamburg. And finally, around 40 percent of all Hamburg citizens do not belong to any confession. So Hamburg is also a stronghold of the non-believers. Paradise <laughs> directly in front of us and you, the already mentioned hotel Red is a blue. In front of us. In the height of 108, not 18. I said 18, no, no, it's 108 meters high. And in front of this hotel, left hand in front of us, we have another train station, Dantour Railway Station, a representative Art Nouveau styled hall construction built in 1903 and considered to be Hamburg's architecturally most beautiful train station. In ancient times, it served as reception station for guests of state. <laughs> Left hand in front of us, one of our several inner city parks here in Hamburg. Hamburg is an exceptionally green city. 70% 70 
of our urban area are green land. Another 8% are water area. So Hamburg is characterized by a lot of nature. We have thousands of trees here in Hamburg. So Hamburg is not... Hamburg has an urban area of 755 square kilometers. This is as big as the urban area of New York City. While in New York City we have more than 8 billion inhabitants, we have only 1.9 billion inhabitants here in Hamburg. So a huge area, city area here, just relatively few residents, and that's why we have so many parks here, so many green area. More than 180 different countries, people are living here in the city. Hamburg is even more international than New York City and London. A luxury hotel, not a luxury hotel, you know, see the Fontenay. Owned by one of the wealthiest citizens of our city, a man named Klaus Michael Kühne. He is the owner of the logistics company Kühne Nagel. Directly in front of us, a new, the Outer Alster Lake. Obviously, one of Hamburg's most Beautiful residential areas, one of our most popular water sports areas, especially sailing and rowing, and a very long tradition on the Alster Lake. But sailing on the Alster isn't a child's game. The wind on the Alster can be rather malicious and shouldn't be underestimated in case of capsizing. However, don't be afraid of drowning because the Alster is a very flat stretch of water where most of you can stand. In Hamburg we say, those who drown in the Alster are just too stupid to stand upright. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Yes. More than beautiful. We love it. Everybody here in Hamburg loves this outer Alster lake. <laughs> and as I allow uh, 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 to lake, we have beautiful residential areas, <laughs> uh, beautiful and very expensive for us. As for example, the right one here, left hand, with a tower and the flag, oh no, there's no flag on its top, but a tower. Sloman Castle, we name it Sloman Castle, it's from the middle of the 19th century. The oldest villa here in the outer Alster Lake. These, villa, uh, these villas, of course, are not really cheap. If you want to buy such a villa here, you have to pay up to 30 million euros. Just for one villa, 30 million euros. <laughs> Have you ever heard of um, the German fashion designer Gilles Sander? Gilles Sander. Very famous German fashion designer who started with his famous national career in our city. And she is the owner of these two white villas here, left hand, behind the trees. Oh. 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 Both of them. She oh. always grows them. Oh. who started her international career in our city in the 1960s. Also, Wolfgang Jürgen, another famous. German fashion designer started his international career in our city and Karl Lagerfeld even was born here in Hamburg in 1933. In former times, the park here right in of us had been a private garden belonging to the owners of the villas here, left hand of us. But uh, in the 1950s, we decided to open this area here, close to the water right hand, 
to the public till today, since the 1950s. This public park right here was is one of the most popular public public parks in the city of Hamburg. Thank you.